So what microphone do you use uh, if you are recording audio or video, if you have a microphone? And if you don't, wow, you are in a uh, <clears throat> sad state of affairs. Well, if you're looking for a microphone, I do have a, a new recommendation for you. I happen to pick one up today, although it's not the one I'm using right now. Uh, I happen to be using, at this point, a microphone that is likely picking up my dogs at a distance. Uh, the Samson CO1U is the USB microphone that I'm using. Are you done? <clears throat> but uh, I wanted a Logitech. You know, here's the thing I found about Logitech mics. Before I go in to show you uh, what I just picked up today, uh, the Logitech mics are really bad. Like, they distort sound. If you go too high, like, it, it just sounds bad. If you listen to, uh, I believe it was, this is a really good mic, apparently. Uh, so good. It's just amazing. That, that's, it's a, it is a good mic. Um, <laughs> the CO1U, the Samson CO1U, and we have a coupon uh, for this particular mic, too. So you can go out and buy it. Uh, but I, I may not be using it for too much longer, so I may actually be selling it. Uh, the reason why is because I wanted something smaller. Yeah, the Logitech mics that I found, specifically in the ones that are integrated with webcams, distort sound like you would not believe. They're just not that good, in my experience. Uh, well, this particular mic uh, has uh, just been released, a Snowflake. Uh, this is, of course, uh, from Blue Microphones. It's a USB mic that was made with portability in mind. This is the box for... Uh, the microphone. It is a condenser, and I believe it also has its own, give me a second, just checking, yep, its own digital converter, specifically designed preamp, nice, and it's USB. It's extremely portable. This is it, right here. It's this little mic that sits, or you can pull it out, see there, you can pop it out there, so it looks like an eyeball, but See the, the case that it sits on, it'll sit right there on your desk, so you can so you can leave it sitting right there, so it's you know within range of your voice. Uh, of course, you could bring it up close. I wouldn't do that if I were you. You don't need to really. Uh, or you could hang it on the. Uh, you can see this this little plastic part pops off. I'm not too happy about the plastic part. It's kind of cheap. I mean, considering I spent about seventy dollars for this thing, could have found it probably cheaper. I should have looked for a coupon at coupons.lockernome.com, but that's okay. I'll save you money on it no matter what. So I could leave it sitting on the desk without the plastic shell. Uh, it's a nice little uh, silver uh, metallic piece. Or if I wanted to, I could hang it off the back of a laptop or a screen or a monitor and just have it sitting like that. Uh, it also the mic, the head pivots around in a 360 degrees. Uh, it connects by mini USB. And then, of course, it was designed for portability in mind. I don't know if I completely agree with that, but you slide it in there. You can stick your cable inside. It, it of course, detaches just mini USB. Uh, and then turn the mic head around, and then it's completely protected, or at least somewhat protected. So the, the sound quality is, is pretty nice. Uh, of course, it can record up to 44 six, uh, 44K 16-bit uh, audio, which is more than enough if you happen to be doing you know, audio, like, <clears throat> let me say that again, which is more than enough if you are recording voices. That's more than enough. In fact, uh, 22K is, is likely what you'd want to record at if you are recording voices. Anything beyond that, it's a little overkill. If you're doing music, then of course 44 CD quality audios is probably the, the, the way you'd want to go. Um, so I've uh, you know, given it a, a couple of uh, a couple of trials. I just plugged it in. Didn't need to install anything. It'll work with either Mac OS X or Windows, or assumedly with Linux as well. I don't know if you'd need any drivers uh, for Linux, but it's just a, a regular old USB mic. Uh, it is again uh, the Snowflake mic from uh, Blue Microphones, and a lot of people have liked uh, you know the quality experience they've had with earlier uh, USB mics from Blue, and I expect that this uh, Snowflake will be no exception. In fact, I think the previous version was called the Snowball. I didn't like how the Snowball looked, though. It just, ugh, I didn't like it at all. It was too big. It was too bulky. This is perfect for me. It's 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 a perfect size, and, and for this reason, I'm likely going to be replacing the USB mic, the uh, C Samson CO1U that I've had on my desk, because it's kind of it's big, and you've seen it in earlier videos. I kind of hide it right now because it, it, I had the stand for it. It's kind of overkill uh, for what I'm doing. I will likely be using either uh, a, another Snowflake 
or uh, there's a, another uh, blue microphone that has uh, the same, uh, I guess, similar type of hardware with uh, the audio, but it also has an HD USB camera on there as well, and I'm likely going to be upgrading to that. So I wanted to try this to see how well it worked. I will be using this as my primary desktop mic, you know, on this particular system, or if I need to use a desktop mic, uh, you know, I can switch between any one of my computers with a, a great degree of ease. I'd rather use a mic like this, a dedicated USB mic, rather than a mic that's built into a system. Uh, number one, because, uh, you know, it's it's hardware, it's dedicated, it's closer to my mouth, as well as uh, you don't get uh, any kind of sound from the system. When I go portable, uh, sometimes I use the mic that's built into, like, particularly this, this particular notebook, and I'll hear the system fans just going and going and going. Uh, so I'd much rather have a cleaner audio experience, you know, with, with a dedicated uh, USB mic. So uh, this is the one that I decided to go with, if only because I've seen the community just, you know, go gaga uh, for what Blue has created with uh, their USB devices. And uh, it's also looks good, runs clean, doesn't require any drivers, and it matches the silver black motif that I have going on here on my desktop. My email address is chris at perillo.com. I'm sure you have more questions. If you're looking for mic recommendations, I would recommend the Samson CO1U, uh, or I would also now recommend uh, the uh, blue, the Snowflake. I want to say Snowball, that's the old one. I would recommend the Snowflake because it's smaller, more portable. Uh, so anyway, uh, my email address you have, and you likely already have uh, the uh, name of the website where you can go to get product reviews and recommendations or make them on your own. And that happens to be geeks.perillo.com. You can post blogs there. You can upload photos, uh, put your YouTube videos on there. You can do a variety of things, so long as it's geeky. And speaking of geeky, if you'd like to join us in the chat room, you are more than welcome to. Uh, several people throughout the day, in fact, hundreds of people throughout the day, stop by the chat room. And you never really know what they're going to be talking about, really, because the conversation ebbs and flows, as is the nature of uh, a chat room on the Internet. We talk about everything, but we're typically talking tech 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live dot perillo dot com. We'll see you later.